I want to um, again give our condolence to the family, the Godwin family and uh, all of its members and really again thank them for the way in which they've handled this very tragic situation, not only for them personally, but for the community as large. I uh, also want to thank the community. There was a lot of support from the community, not only in terms of the family, but in terms of the law enforcement effort and the kind of information and tips that we were given. And I want to thank our partners, the federal, state, county, local, uh, and uh, other state uh, law enforcement agencies that helped it in this regard. Uh, and finally, I want to emphasize the fact that uh, uh, this uh, particular incident received a lot of attention, and rightfully so, because it was a loss of innocence, uh, an innocent victim. Uh, we, however, have many, many um, homicides, not only in Cleveland, but throughout this nation. And ultimately, I believe one of the things this has taught us that we cannot resolve this underlining issues of, of violence, particularly gun violence, if we do not function and operate and have the same compassion and, and, and um, commitment that we've shown here as a community. And, and finally, I want to thank you as the media. You were very helpful to us in keeping uh, things straight keeping the facts straight, reporting the stories in a way that, um, that really helped us to be able to do our job. So, Chief. Thanks, Mayor. <coughs> I want to uh, officially announce that the uh, search for Steve Stevens has ended. At approximately uh, a little bit after 11 today, uh, Pennsylvania State Police officers received a tip that the vehicle that we were looking for, the white Ford Fusion, was in a McDonald's parking lot uh, near Erie, PA. Those officers responded. The vehicle fled from that area. There was a short pursuit in which the vehicle was stopped. As the officers approached that vehicle, Steve Stevens took his own life. We are grateful to the people that gave this tip to the Pennsylvania State Police. Uh, we are grateful that this has ended. Uh, we would prefer that uh, it had not ended this way because there are a lot of questions, I'm sure, that not only the family but uh, the city in general would have had for Steve as to why this transpired. Uh, again, our condolences are, are still with uh, the family of Mr. Godwin, and uh, you, you, you've all heard them on the news lately. Uh, they were forgiving, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> they were forgiving. Uh, of Steve for committing this uh, atrocious act. And then we need to follow their lead. Uh, as the mayor stated, there are other victims in the city and around this country, and we continue to work hard uh, to bring closure to those families also. There are a lot of things about this that we don't know, uh, a lot of circumstances that we're still gathering. Uh, as uh, Detective Chotz said, Sergeant Chotz, I'm sorry, stated, uh, we're in the early stages of this. Uh, it's been probably less than an hour since this uh, transpired. So as we get that information, we'll get it out. Uh, but I know that uh, uh, my partners here, uh, Steve and Pete, uh, would like to come up and say a couple words. Steve. Uh, just real quick, as we discussed, the goal from 2 o'clock Easter Day was to make sure that no one else uh, was a victim of violence by Mr. Stevens. And even though investigation is continuing, we believe that to be the case. That was the number one goal. Obviously, the other goal was to, was to bring Mr. Stevens uh, in safely. And unfortunately, uh, he chose that not to be the case. So again, we thank uh, the public. As we said from, from day one, less than four, 45 hours ago, the public would be key uh, to bring in the tip that was needed to resolve this situation. That's exactly what happened. And kudos to the Pennsylvania State doing an outstanding job and uh, in addressing the tip and um, bringing this to a conclusion. With that, Pete. Thanks, Steve. Just real quick, um, I want to thank all the men and women uh, standing up here um, for their dedication, but I also want to thank all the Deputy U.S. Marshals, the FBI agents, the Cleveland Police Officers, all the officers who have been up all night for the last couple of nights working on this case, um, pursuing every single lead. So. I want to thank them uh, for their dedication and their service. Thank you.
Before we take questions, just really quick, no information regarding law enforcement tactics is going to be discussed. So we'll open it up now for questions. Chief, talk to us a little bit more about that pursuit, how exactly it unfolded. I know you weren't there, but... <coughs> Again, we're, we're, yeah, we're trying to get that information from the uh, Pennsylvania State Police officers. Uh, we initially uh, got the information it was a short pursuit uh, in which uh, the vehicle was stopped. Uh, as the officers approached the vehicle, Steve took his own life. Did you suspect he was already there? We had that ping that we talked about yesterday. Um, we we searched uh, that area prior. Uh, we searched that area initially on, on uh, Sunday when we got that ping uh, up in that area of Erie, PA. Uh, we were in the process today of going back and doing a more thorough search of that area 